Matt Parker tutorial services are back and today we're going to help teachers with their admin. This BTAC assessment database I invented in 2010 and it's kind of been through various different revisions. I think we're on for revision 18 now and it has been used successfully to monitor and track BTEC qualifications in four schools and across 20 subjects. The database itself has held marks for a thousand plus students and had teachers, a hundred teachers simultaneously putting marks in at a time. Now to do this successfully, it's got to be deployed properly. Now, that'll be the subject of a later video. I will show you how to deploy the database on a network share, which the students and teachers don't know where it is and they can't see it. And when they log in, they'll go in with different levels of privilege. So that if you go in as a teacher and you click on this button, it'll let you in. And if you're not a teacher, it won't. Now, what is the advantage of this database? Quite simply, all a teacher has to do is put in twos and ones and everything, including the value added and what the grades the student have got is pre-calculated. So if I go in and I put in a class code and an exam year, and then I'm going to give Billy here a merit. When I've done that, if Billy was to go in and he was to click on unit one, Billy will see, and I strongly recommend students use the same login that they've got in school, that his mark has gone up to a merit here and by the number of green things filled in there. Now, let's say Billy wants to check his mark overall. He simply clicks here and it tells him what mark he's got in each unit, what his overall mark is and his overall grade, the value added that he scored based on his target, and how many marks he needs to get to the next level. Now, that's really informative for a student. Don't forget, this shortcut can be put on the desktops of all the students at the same time by just asking your technicians. As a teacher, all you're gonna do is put in twos and ones. As an administrator, you might wanna edit the intake. You may want to edit the classes that I've created. You may want to add different students. Don't forget that you need to have the classes in first, put the biographical information in on the students, put zeros for each one of these fields, and this number here will change. Close it and it adds the student. Then when you run a student's class, it will find the student's class, and you can change the marks. So let's give, for example, Billy a distinction there. And when we go into overall by class code, you will see all of these things are automatically carried over. So you can see here that Billy is now on value added of plus 18. He's got a distinction and you can easily pick out the students who are succeeding against the target, those who aren't. You can grade yourself using the Ofsted criteria and you get an overall value over there as a number. So at the moment for the class, we're on plus four which isn't so bad, but really we've used six for a grade. Now, that's it really. Um, if you're interested in having a copy of the database, don't forget to subscribe and like, and I'll send you a free copy. This will only work after some customization for the current 2010 spec. If there's sufficient demand, I'll make one that will track and monitor BTEC in a particular subject for the current specifications. And that's it. Don't forget, guys, share and like. Thanks for listening. The next videos are going to help businesses get their IT systems off the ground without recourse to big software companies.